Hello, it's Kei, and I'm a professional trader based here in Tokyo, Japan. In this part 4 of the uh, price action series, I will talk about doji candles and how you can actually trade when you see this doji from some real chart examples so that you make profit out of this because you see doji many many times in the market and if you master this, you'll be finding lots of trade chance in the market because this is also my favorite strategy. So if you like this topic, please press the good button and let's get started right now. What doji candle looks like is that when the starting price and closing price on one single candlestick becomes at around the same level. So let's say this one is a bullish candle and if this is a daily candle for instance, the market started a day at this price level, went all the way down, then all the way up, and eventually the price closed at this price level, making a doji candlestick as a result like this. You know, doji means same time in Japanese. Like when I say do something doji in Japanese, it means you do something at the same time. So in Forex, literally it tells you where the market close price gets nearly equal to the starting price level within a candle, resulting the wick pointing up and down with a tiny body here. And you may know that there are a variety of names to it like hammer, hanging man, or evening doji star, and no 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 no. But I'm not gonna tell you all those patterns out there because first of all it's too much to remember and what's more important is how you see the doji and how you actually trade with it, right? So if you're curious you can just you know go onto the Google and search it for all those variations but on this video just forget about those names and I will just tell you the essence of it. When you see a doji it shows the market's got no direction. In other words, when you see a doji candle, it shows the market is looking for which direction to go, but he's not sure yet, right? That's the only thing you have to remember, simple. In fact, what I imagine when I see a doji is, it's like someone who is looking around while climbing a mountain. For example, when you see a market like this, it's a bull trend, right? And a doji is right here, right in the middle of a bull trend. So while the market is moving up bullish, it's like he's only looking at the top of the mountain, but when you see a doji here, it's like the market suddenly stopped climbing the mountain and just taking a rest, looking around and enjoying the view. This is how I see the market when I see the doji candle, and the market might reverse to the downside from this candle, or it might continue to go up. Well, in this case, it eventually went up, but you never know, uh, it may have been going down after this. So let me tell you the ways to expect the next move after you see this doji candle. One of the ways you can expect is that when there is some kind of strong resistance here, and when you see doji like this right on that resistance level, you better prepare for the rejection. In this chart, it eventually went up because there was no significant resistance here in the past. So when you see a doji like this, First thing you have to remember is you have to look for if there's any support or resistance lines or trend line around this price level. And if you don't, that doji may not gonna be so important. It just happened, you know? So whenever you see doji like this, where it's appearing is the most important thing. Sometimes people say every time they find doji in any place, they just think it's a reversal signal, so they just sell right off and get all those losses. And that's because they don't realize the truth about doji. Like I said, doji shows like the market is resting, looking around and seeing what's going on around, and it doesn't always mean the reversal signal. So this is the same idea when you find pin bars like I explained on the previous video. Well, pin bars has more probability for the reversal by its shape, but this doji is not really. Now, let me show you the real chart example and explain when it's going to be a true reversal so you know what I'm talking about. In fact, there was a beautiful doji candle appeared on the market in this June on one, one of the pairs. Uh, look at this chart. This is the weekly chart on Euro Dollar, but look how beautiful it showed up. There was a clear resistance level up here and when I found this one on the next week after I confirmed this doji at the top, I placed sell and got all these pips. And later on it created head and shoulder pattern and the market kept on going down afterwards. So this doji right here 
was right at the tip of the head and shoulder. So when you see a doji candle while it's on a bullish or bearish trend, one thing you should keep in mind is you just wait. Wait until you see the candle close and if it ended up with doji along with other lines like uh, support and resistance lines, then you just prepare for the reversal by checking lower time frame chart and see if there's another reversal signals. In fact, when you look at this doji in daily chart, you see something very interesting. This is a daily chart, but look at this one right here on the top. There are three consecutive doji candles right here, you see? So it clearly shows the market is going nowhere, just resting while climbing up the mountain. So in this case, I will draw support and resistance line, and I will just follow towards the direction that's breaking out. When you only see one doji candlestick, this break strategy might not gonna work, but when you see two or three consecutive doji candles like this, you just draw lines like this and trade where the market breaks on either direction. In this case, it broke the line downwards and kept going down. So the point is, when you find a doji, focus on where it's appearing. Like back in this one on the weekly chart, there was a clear resistance line right here and in that case, there was a higher possibility that the price may reverse to the downside after you see this doji candle at this place. However, like on this example uh, that you saw earlier, when you see a doji but when there is no significant lines you, that you can draw, the chance of reversal is going to be relatively lower. So you just let the time go and wait until the candle closes because until it closes, you never know if it's gonna be a doji or not. And if it happens to be a doji after the close, just follow towards the major trend direction after the breakout. So again, doji candle does not always mean the reversal signal, but where it's appearing is more important. I will just give you one last example. This is a euro pound in 15 minute chart in November 5th. And there's a beautiful doji here too, you see? So when you look at this chart, first of all, it's a clear downtrend. You know, the candles are below Kumo, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are dead cross, and yellow Chiko span is way below the candles. So this is called Sanyaku Gyakuten signal in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, uh, one of the strongest bearish signals. So in this case, you look for the edge to sell on the market. And if you look at the doji candle right here, you see it's been beautifully resisted by this blue Tenkan Sen. So this is one of the signals that you go sell here, you know, because when you see a doji right here at this Tenkan Sen while it's on bearish, this can be a signal to sell here on this particular case. And also there's another confirmation here. If you draw a line like this, you see a roll reversal. You know, the former support now became a resistance here. So this is so this signal also gives you another positive confirmation of setting from here and you get all these pips. But let's say a doji like this one down here. This is not really important because like I said earlier, you cannot draw a support or resistance lines or it doesn't really touch the Tenkan Sen either. So this doji is something that you can ignore, but rather this one up here is something you need to look for so that you can better increase your trade accuracy. Alright, so now I hope you get a better idea of how to trade with doji candles. So if you like this video, please press the good button and on the next one, I'll be talking about harami engulfing trading strategies because this is also commonly seen price action and you can get a lot of pips when you master this harami. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification when it's uploaded. And I do live streaming on every Tuesday and Friday so you get notified on that one too. Alright, I see you on the next one. Stay gold. Mata ne.